Are you nervous? No, I'm You've not. You've never done this before. Hello, everyone. I've been doing it for too long. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> It started to come That's full when it's circle. worse, isn't it? It's, it's when you just start doing stuff in front of a camera. That's, that's one of the worst points. That's like peak anxiety. Then it goes down, like it's like a trough. And then it goes up again when you just want to <laughs> end it. Yeah. <laughs> you just want to be done. I've done enough, done enough. <clears throat> PP, we're back. Simon has trawled the depths of the news ocean. <laughs> and found some weird creatures down there. I have. And we're going to put them under the microscope and see what the fuck. Um, Look at this. I think I found a jellyfish, Lewis. And they hold up like a giant condom. <laughs> Look at this. Look. That's the best case scenario. I think I found its ink sack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> It's not dark ink it's though, Lewis. It's creamy ink. <laughs> it's very pearlescent. Oh my god! Like an underwater, yeah, like a pearl. Maybe that's how pearls are made. It's just oyster cum. Hmm. Pearlesque. Shall we move? Shall you? Shall okay. Find, have we talking about finding weird things? A family has been creeped out and scared after a sinister clown painting has appeared in their garden. Now, first of all, it looks like it's a clown climbing out of the, a grave. It's holding a candle in its hand, right? It's got a weird face. It looks like, it looks a bit like an old woman. The mm. face, it's got like the sort of... Yeah, I don't think you'd know it was a clown immediately cheeks. unless it said clown. Well, it's got the, it's got like a, one of a, those a frilly, rough. yeah, frilly collar and it's got like a, one of the old style clown hats, like French clowns. Like a, it's kind of an odd... Pierrot. It's and... like a bowler hat or something, isn't it? Yeah. I don't immediately see clown when I see that, I must admit. I just see sort of weird medieval character. The candle... It's not... I mean, clowns don't typically hold candles. He's going to juggle with it. He's got a candle. He's got a, a hot poker. He's got, like, a, a flaming hot coal fresh from the fire. He's going to juggle them. What? Hey! <laughs> 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 Look, people throw away old shit they don't want anymore. Yeah. Into other people's gardens. It's, it happens. Yeah. It's what I do with the cat turds in my garden. Just hop them, you know, pop them over the wall. So that's option next one. Door. The other option, of course, is animals doing it. Yeah. Well, animals. I mean, so you're saying an animal, maybe some cats, drew a painting of a clown and put it in someone's garden. No. They scrounged it out of a bin and carried it there, dragged it there for purposes unknown. So you think like a, like a fox got into a bin, he thought there would be like some leftovers of a roast chicken in there or something. Yeah. And he just found this old painting of a clown that someone threw away. Yeah. Dragged it out. Well, he was dragging it back home, but he, it, he might have been propped it nicely at a nice angle. Well, the, the right way up no, no, as no. well. Possibly though that when this image was taken, they discovered the clown in the local environs so and propped posed. it up in order to poke a picture of it. Yeah. You know, so you can't assume. I assume that this is near to the crime scene, but not the actual crime scene. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? Could be. Should we should we read the story a bit? Because we've literally not read a single word of the story <laughs> other than the headline. <laughs> Which is what we always do. <laughs> I don't like re I don't like thinking about some, some what other people have done with their brain. I like using my own to come you up. You don't like my do own. what other people done. With you understand? Go I on. Do. Then. I do. read the I article. I speak Papagies. <laughs> <laughs> family um, has been left frightened and unsettled <laughs> after a concrete slab containing a creepy painting of a clown has appeared into their back garden. The sinister artwork shows a clown holding a candle and is inscribed with a Bible passage. A Bible, a Bible passage. What is the passage? Let your light shine, Matthew 5, 16. Right. And it's holding a candle. Let your light shine. So it's kind of an inspirational thing. You know, it's something they say to kids to get them to stand up in school and sing. That's what they teach in um, uh, Sunday school for yeah. Satanists. Yeah. So let, let your light shine because Lucifer is the light bringer. I see. Yeah. 
Yeah, is that... That's true. I see, so not in fact... Up. Hmm, it's, it's very unclear in that case whether or not... That puts a lot of... What? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that confused you so well, much? Well, because the, the Jesus is the light, right? Isn't he in the light of the God and all the that's, light of the world? That's what they want you to think, I Lewis. see. That's turned the whole... Everything upside down. Yeah. So you never know if you could actually be praying to Satan or clown. You've got you to think if you're if you if you if you've got your hands together in a in a prayer thing, whether you have it palms together or like with your fingers entwined, you know, whichever way you do it, mm -hmm. however you do it, if you're bowing down, you're looking down towards the devil. Right. What you got to do is you got to look up when you pray. And then when you speak, the words go up into the sky. Right. And then God's like, oh, what was that? What was that? He wa oh, Lewis wants to win the lottery. <laughs> I better make sure the bonus ball comes up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, God. Someone would have to have come through our gate and down the steps to place it there and deliberately place it so it was facing the window so we would see it. So do you, do, you, do you think it was a neighbour that was like, oh, I don't like that family. They're no good. They're no good. I need to, I need to show them a sign to live their life better. I'm going to draw a creepy painting of a clown and put a Bible verse on the back and put it in their garden. I know. I don't think it was made special. I think this existed previously and has been discovered and repurposed. They need to carbon date it. But then what if they carbon date it and it's like, You've accommodated it. It's from from 30 AD. <laughs> and if you look down here, it's signed Jesus. Right. Or I think it would be Joshua, wasn't it? I think that was actually his name. Everyone was called Joshua back then. It could be, have they got a, ch a, a cheeky, mischievous teenage son? They've got, I think they have two daughters or something. Sounds like something they might have done as a little prank. Don't know how old the daughters are. I think we should just we should just exhaust. It would be creepier the younger the daughters are. If the daughters are like six and seven, and they managed to do that painting, they drew it together. Yeah, mm. and they're like holding hands. They're like la la la, Mommy, la la la, come and see la, the clown. La la la, he's la, in my la, dreams. La la la. That exactly. makes it so much creepier. That would be. So what we're saying is any options. Is bad. It's malicious. There's no fun. There's no chance that that clown was there to, 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 you know, shine a light on someone's day. I don't like that people see clowns and they are scared and they don't think fun anymore. I, I know. Think that's unfair. It's sad. It's sad. It's a sad state of affairs. That we've come to this. That, that society... Cannot look at a clown and laugh. <laughs> yeah. Instead you cry. Or scream. Or run. That's the clown at the door, Lewis. Clawing desperately for someone to help. You know, I was just on my phone before mm -hmm. we started recording. Oh, you didn't. I ordered you a clown. <laughs> you... I ordered you a clown. <laughs> That's so kind. And here we'll he is. Him, we'll see him walk past the door. <laughs> I wonder who it's going to be. I reckon it'll be Daph. I think it's just a delivery. It was Daph. It's 50 chicken nuggets to Daph is the one. <laughs> For fuck's sake. That boy loves his nugs. He does. What weird sauce is it? Does he have like mango sauce with it or something? It's, it doesn't like him dry. Well, barbecue. He only has barbecue. Nothing but barbecue sauce. That's it. Well, you can't eat him dry. But he doesn't have any ketchup or honey mussy. It's always barbecue. Mussy. Like if he orders loads of... Nuggets. It's important to know this about David. It's, I think it's important that people listening, watching, know this. So if you order loads of nuggets, the more nugs you order, the more sauce packets they put in there, right? Right. What's the ratio? Oh, it's, oh. Is it like normal amount one? And it's about eight-ish. Double three, and then like more than that, a handful. I think about, yeah, I think about eight... Eight nugs per sauce, or something like that. Okay. But yeah, so you just, kind of have to ration out the amount you put like, on each. He just has like ten packs of barbecue sauce or whatever with his nugs. He doesn't have like 
four and then four ketchup or something. I it see. It feels. Well, if you if you like it, I find you like that it. creepier than a clown. But why would you? Are you? Why would you go for the inferior options if, if for you the superior one is available? Well, I mean, if you really like barbecue sauce, if you eat nothing but barbecue sauce, you're going to stop liking it. But if you have not some, necessarily. If you have some lower sh quality shitter sauce that you don't like as much, then when you go back to the barbecue sauce, you'll appreciate it more. I see. So what you're saying is you should eat the thing you like until you hate it, at which point you should eat something you also hate, and then the thing that you hate, that you grew to hate, you will find you didn't grow to hate it enough. And so you should go back to that. Yeah? Yeah. I see. <laughs> I'm, fo I'm following every word that you said. But in the delay between when you stopped eating that and you ate the new thing, it gave you a kind of cooling off period. A moment of reflection. Almost like the refractory period. <clears throat> and you were able to begin again. To begin anew. With the barbecue. Once again. I see. And that first dab in it. Mm. Yeah. It tastes as good as the first time you ever had it. <laughs> <laughs> we ended up throwing it in the bin and told our children, both of whom are under five. Okay. That it was Not to silly... do it again. <laughs> <laughs> that it was a silly picture. The most disturbing thing is why they done it. Why specifically our property? We have no idea who would do this, but with two children at home, it's so unsettling. Someone put a picture of a clown in our garden. Mm. It's not like they put like, you know, like a dead horse in their garden. Yeah, they? or like a severed foot. Yeah, you it's know, just a painting. It's just a painting. Of some old lady in the neighborhood probably thought they'd like it. Oh, I love that little, that young couple with their lovely children. You know what they like? Oh, they love a, oh. Oh, what about a painting? Oh, it's such a good idea, Dorothy. Oh, I know just the thing to do. What do children like? They love horses. I'm going to draw a picture of a horse. Oh, no, no. They're probably bored of horses. They've oh. probably got loads of pictures. What about zebras? I could do a good zebra. No, these stripes might upset them. What about giraffes? Like, it's just it's just that one with a longer neck in it. Can you do anything that isn't four-legged-y? And a, a carpy? What's that? It's a bit like a horse, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's got... How many legs has it got? Four? Look at, again, with the four. Can we go with something less horse equine? Less equine? <laughs> oh, what about a lovely little bushy cat? How, oh. about, how about a clown? What? How about that's, a clown? That's a, that's a mental <laughs> idea. Where did that come from? Well... They don't like clowns today, kids. So they know that we did, though, when we was kids. Oh, that's true. I used to love clowns. I love them now. Oh, well, one did murder my family, but I got over there and oh. now I like him why again. Didn't you tell, why didn't you tell me that soon? I've got one coming round for your birthday in a minute. What a clown? Oh! <laughs> you, oh, I thought you forgot, Ethel. I thought you forgot. No, he's coming round. Oh, that's lovely. Anyway, get painting that clown. Do you know the name of the clown that's coming round? I don't know. Um, Pennywise. Pennywise? <laughs> Is that really the first name that came into your head? All right, Bongo. Bongo? <laughs> that's the name of the clown that murdered my family. Well, it's a coincidence. I know. Oh, it must be a small world, isn't it? Eh? It is. Oh. oh. Let me get the Bible out and I'll find a nice Bible verse to pack <laughs> on the back. What? That's a bit. Why? Well, I want to inspire the kids with some wise words. All right. Oh, there's, I've got, I've got the hand out of the clown. It should be holding something. What about like a balloon? It's holding a balloon. Oh, good idea. No, no, but maybe I'm more old-fashioned than that. All right. No, no, what? What's a bit old-fashioned? Well, what did we enjoy having in our day when we were young? Orgasms. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did, absolutely. Not anymore. Not anymore. God, it's been about 30 years, you know, since our Albert died. I don't think we can paint an orgasm on it. Oh, I don't know what I look like. Kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> Do you, look on his face. Well, maybe he's laughing. That's what our Albert did. He did that face. The night he died. Was that when Bongo was round? No, 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 no. The Bongo didn't kill my husband. He killed me Ma and George. 
No, don't! <laughs> That's terrible. That was terrible. very sad. Anyway, I was thinking about this Bible quote. Oh, yeah. Which one shall we go with? Because uh, there's a lot to choose from. Oh, what about the one where you go to hell if you've got tattoos? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll write that one on. That sounds good. What about the one where um they, they um was it the, the, the Israels? Like the Jews, they came in and they... They forcefully s circumcised an entire city, didn't they? That's right. That was a good one. Yeah, and then they stoned that slave to death. That all has a good story. Oh, there. I love it when that happens. Oh, what about the one where Noah has uh, sex with his daughter? Oh, I can't forget that. That's a good one. <laughs> they love that. <laughs> Let's write all those down. I haven't got space. <laughs> only, my, my writing's very big. I'll just write something about a candle. All right. All right. Oh, let the light in. Something oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's the devil's. That's the devil one. Oh, he, oh, he is, is he? Well, we have a... How do you me? know, Ethel? Well, well... You haven't been conspiring with Lucifer again, have you? I've been using that pentagram you've been done in the, on the floor in the cellar. Oh, the one with the the the, uh, the dead rooster. That's right, and all the blood. Yeah, And yeah. all that, all that um, symbology. Yeah, and oh, that's nice. Yeah, and all the naked oh. ones. Oh, all the nudies. Yes. <laughs> anyway, I think that's that story done. <laughs> I think we've done a good job on that. So, <laughs> this is a one. This is a wonderful story, um, because it's kind of happy. Sure. So picture the scene, Lewis. Right? <laughs> you're you're going for a jog, or you're walking. You're walking the dog early one morning, through some through some like scrub woodland, woodland yeah, scrubby some, some woodland where there's no one ever goes. Yep. Except to maybe you know dig a hole, just for recreational purposes. Right. Um, diggy diggy hole. Yeah. And then one day. You're walking the dog and you're jogging as well. Maybe you've got that app that it's like zombies are chasing you. So you're like, oh. Oh, you're screaming. I don't know if that's even still going, that thing. Sure. Sounds good. Um, and you're running and you think you see a foot. Oh, fuck. Behind a bush. It is always people walking their dog who find, yeah. find these things. It's because the dog sniffs them out. Well, I think it's more that they're going around very quiet areas. And the dog sniffs them out. You know, it can smell. Africa, Africa, smell a dead body. Mm. Oh, oh, it smells to me. Hungry. It's, it smells, I'm hungry, hungry. <laughs> oh, I think I'm role playing being, if you're listening to the podcast, <laughs> I'm role playing being a dog whilst holding said dog. dog. It's not a real dog. Blood. And then I'm, I'm going to do something very funny. But smell it is, blood. It is going to be a visual gag. So right. you'll have to bear with me. I'll explain afterwards. I think I smell something. It's like a dead body. Smells a bit like, smells a bit like a dead animal that's crawled up someone's ass and died. <laughs> and then I put his face down to where Lewis's bum is. <laughs> and so Lewis, Lewis's butt smell bad. That's, that's, bad. That was the joke. Bad smell from Lewis's bum. But fortunately, in this case, um, it wasn't a dead body after all. I assume the police came out um, and checked. Should we just make up the story? <laughs> <laughs> we always do. Yeah, police. Police came round. Police came round. They saw the. Um, they saw. They saw this leg sticking out from behind the bush, and there was. They erected one of them little te tents that you only ever see on murders or Great British Bake Off. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> it's the only time you see him. Oh Jesus! And uh, they they got the forensic team in. It was a whole body that they found. It wasn't just a leg. A whole it was body. They to started a body. revealing more bits. Yeah. Um, and it was a young lady wearing um, like jeans, shorts, and like a, a sort of a ripped halt, halter, halter top. top. Sure. I'm guessing that's what that kind of thing's called. Yeah, her body was contorted in a way. She's wearing uh, really nice boots, I think. That that made it look like she was doing one of these sort of, you know, like she had her arm up like in a kind of party song. Night fever, night fever. Sure, that's, that's it. 
Yeah. She's doing like the disco dance moves. She's blonde, but she's a dirty blonde, and oh boy, is she dirty, Lewis. Well, also the dirt it's okay. from, the, could, from, the, make from the ground. I can make that joke because she wasn't human. She was buried in she the ground. She wasn't human, by the way. No? No. When did they discover this? So they got her back to the morgue. <laughs> they, they washed her. How long do you think it did take them? How long do you think? <laughs> they took her fingerprints. Yeah. They put them through the system. Well, how would they take the fingerprints of a rubber doll? Well, it's not rubber even, is it? It looks probably they, like Maybe it's... they did the fingerprints and it was just like a completely black oval <laughs> because there's no ridges. Oh, my God. She's got no fingerprints. Oh, my God. She must have had them removed. Maybe she's a spy. <laughs> the coroner came in to perform the autopsy and he, he got out of the scalpel, put it in and she just popped. <laughs> <laughs> like flying around the room. <laughs> Everyone was traumatized. Like the young detective is like sick. <laughs> Your first time, kid. Don't worry, it gets better. Uh, the guy's saying that's like eating a sandwich. Uh, it gets better, kid. Uh, um, yeah, it was a life-size doll. Someone's sex doll. They disposed of it in the forest. You think it's a sex doll? No, I know it's a sex doll. It doesn't look like a sex doll. It's Lewis, got, it's, it's, it's got three holes. I don't see... Scroll down. Let's actually read the story. To see the holes? No, I don't want to see oh, the okay. holes. Right, okay, right. I want to read what the... I don't think is. it'll say it on the website. I don't think it'll look, show the other holes. I don't, I don't need to see the holes. A life-size doll complete with accessories. Are the accessories are her holes? Yes. They <laughs> located the model number... And the crime scene was appropriately processed and evidence collected. So they did do the whole thing. Just, you know. Oh, did they find any um, DNA? In the holes. The holes were swabbed. About three spoonfuls. <laughs> <laughs> teaspoons or tablespoons? Oh, teaspoons. <laughs> Bloody hell. It wasn't an awesome factor. <laughs> <laughs> we think. Oh, God. The victim. <laughs> now waiting named... on forensics. The victim, now named oh. Selena. Uh, <laughs> I'm still getting that. Why did they give her a oh, name? He's <laughs> <laughs> chowing down on the sandwich. Oh, he's got a brownie now. <laughs> it's my pudding. <laughs> oh, smoking a cigarette. Jesus. The victim, now named Selena. Selena. She's a little under the weather. But has been having a nice day and is expected to make a full recovery. Oh, oh they had fun, didn't they, the police? They, had, they like having fun, don't they? Yeah. Um, however, this turned out to be a case of littering. If you know her or are responsible for her whereabouts, rest assured we were unable to collect any DNA and you are oh. safe. But in the future, please um, dispose of your items in a more responsible way. Have a great weekend. <laughs> Sheriff Butch Reese said. Butch Reese. What a name. Oh, what a name. God, what God, story. I bet he was a real piece of shit when he was at like school, high school. Yeah. I bet he was like quarterback, used to bully people, used to flush their heads in the toilet. Probably. God. Put dog shit on the end of a stick, poke people with it. Is that what? Throw their gym kits on top of the roof. Fucking, what a butthole. Oh. Well, it turned out all right though. Yeah. So it worked out. He's a cop now, and we know all cops are good. Yeah. So he's in the right place. So what are they going to do with it? What are they going to do with Selena? Are they, you know, is she going to be in an evidence locker somewhere? Or I guess you can, you can. They're looking what? I know what they're going to do with it. what the police always do. They have auctions, don't they? Right. So yeah. Seize property and stuff. Yeah. Fifty bucks. Go once. You're not, you're not tempted? Going twice? Selena? You don't have to have sex with her. You know, oh. maybe it'd just be nice to have a life-sized little friend. You could put her in someone's garden. I'm, uh, what Paint I would her up like, like a clown. What I would like to do is I would like to just, like, sit her down somewhere in my house mm -hmm. and see if the cats sit on her lap and then take a picture of it. And then I'd be like, my fucking cats are stupid. They think they're sitting on a person. What are you it's doing with your life? And then people would respond to like my tweet saying, Simon, is that a sex doll? 
<laughs> like, no, no, no. Simon, no, you're okay. I'm just doing an experiment to see if the cats would sit on, on her lap. And they're like, so where did you get the sex toy? WTF? Don't talk, don't talk about her like that. Please, <laughs> don't talk about Selena like that. She's very sensitive. It'll be downhill from then. Yeah. Police would come round to do a wellness check. Yeah, I'm all right. I just, it was just a tweet. <laughs> Maybe it was one of those scenarios where... Do you live alone, sir? Well, no, I got my two cats and Selena. <laughs> and where is Selena? She's upstairs. <laughs> She's asleep <laughs> in bed. <laughs> okay, good. Where is she going? She's just lying in bed, just in, like, lingerie. <laughs> I'm like, no, this, this is for, like, a follow-up tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I haven't quite thought it through you've, yet. You, you worked this whole thing out. Mm. Speaking of naked things being stuffed into the trunks of cars, a woman found <laughs> that a naked man what a segue. had been living in her car for three days in her in her trunk, living in there, living in there for three days. So obviously, this is in. British Columbia. It's cold. It's, it's very cold. Yeah. It's winter. And you're like, for some reason, you've you found yourself fully nude. <laughs> you got no money. You got no phone. The yeah. elements are are slowly killing you. You're going to die of exposure. You got to think quick. Yeah. So you start checking to see if there are any cars unlocked That's that you right. can get in. Okay. Good strategy. Yeah. But you can only find one of the boots is unlocked. Yeah. So you get in. You close you, the boot. You curl up into a ball. You fall asleep. You wake up. The car is moving. <laughs> Shit. You shake it. You feel around in the boot. Is there anything there? <laughs> There's a jack. There's a spare tire. I was hoping There's a flare. Okay, you grab the flare. I've got the flare in my hand. <laughs> I light it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done this in close quarters. You open the like... boot. All oh, right. And release the flare. It falls onto the road. I can't open the boot. The, the boot's locked now. Oh, yeah, I think it automatically locks when the car's in motion. No, no, you can always open them from the inside. It's a safety thing to stop. Like... Just in case people get abducted. I guess so. All kids getting what trapped the in there fuck? or whatever. That's really cool. Yeah, actually. I think I think so. <clears throat> okay, so you open the boot. I think I'm pretty sure. You throw out the flare. The car's still moving. Yeah, it it's doesn't done stop. nothing. Why would it? Because she, she's not even looking at the you know. La 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 la. She's listening to Ed Sheeran. She no, she's listening to uh, peculiar portions of the podcast. Right, we're doing one of those bits. Pickaxe. <laughs> It's just, Pickaxe. it's just started. Pickaxe. Pickaxe. What are you doing? I did I did several takes and Sam said, could you could you do one that sounds really boring? And so I did pickaxe. <laughs> and that's the one they used. That's what Davis said. That's what Davis said. That's a quote from Davis. It's good to get such a supportive member of the team. Yeah. Um So she's listening to um, peculiar sure. portions. She's just zoning out. Sure, she pulls up at a She's local <laughs> Starbucks. <laughs> she crashed. No, she pulls up at a Starbucks to get some coffee to wake up. You're now. You're still naked. Starbucks. What the fuck are you talking about? Tim Sorry, Hortons. Tim. Tom. Tom. Tim. They Tim have Hortons. Starbucks there as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she goes up to the counter. Oh, hello there. I'd like to have. Can I please? Ha this is a Canadian accent. Really? Can I please have? Hello, sorry. Can I please have the donut holes, please? Right. She's also Scandinavian. Okay. She's a Swedish immigrant to Canada, so that's why her accent's so fucked up. She steps back into the car, throws the donut oh, holes. Oh, it's really cold. I better put the heating on. That would be great. Puts the Canadian accent. Throws the donut holes in a bag on the back seat yeah. for later. You're in the boot. Oh, what's that lovely smell? Yeah, you can see through the crack in the seat. You haven't eaten in a good 12 hours or so. You're that they're there. Rumbling. You reach your fingers through. You can't quite reach. Can't quite reach. Can't quite reach. <laughs> uh, uh, 
<laughs> what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I put my penis through the hole because that's longer than my hand. Right. And also prehensile. And then it wraps around the bag. <laughs> Are you an alien? Oh my God. And bring it in. Yeah. Like a tentacle into the boot. And then I scoff the donuts. Okay. You now have an empty Tim Hortons bag. Oh, but But Lewis. you're still in the boot of a car. Ooh. Oh, I think I've got to make poo poo. <laughs> I have to go toilet. What am I going to do? The car is still moving. I've there's got still no, the empty bag. There's no sign of stopping. I've still got the empty bag. Well, but look, you can use that empty bag later, though. Put it over your balls and cock and use that to escape into I the world. I can still do that if I shit in it. <laughs> stop me. Oh, I see. No, good boy. Yeah. I've never considered that. Me? I thought, oh, no, you're right. Yeah. You are right. Well, do we know what happens next then? Um, I'm not sure what the actual story is. No. It's so much more fun making it up, isn't it? <laughs> it's so much more fun. I assume she uh, had left her car for a couple of days. The windows mm. of her car were fogged up. She got inside and then she heard a voice go, hey. Right. Oh, dear. Then she discovered the naked man in her trunk. And quickly realised something was wrong. <laughs> She's a, a red seal diesel mechanic, right? I don't know what that is. She knows it's a mud on the in the front seat of her car earlier in the week, and she thought someone had broken in and spent the night in her car, so she had it cleaned. What? Oh, this is it. Was terrifying. Why are you in my trunk? And are you naked? Yeah. What? It's a rite of passage. Earlier this week, Bethany... It's a, it's a riot, riot of passage. passage! What the fuck? Is it some fucking frat boy, Epsilon Chai Delta or some... It might be. ...wanky thing where it they have to be. go and get naked into someone's trunk or something and stay in there and, cr and prank them? I think they just... They bundled him into the back of a car, stripped him naked and just left him in the middle of nowhere. Right. Hopefully it's a happy ending for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's horrible, though. Getting into a car, you know, it's night, maybe, or really early in the morning, it's dark. Mm -hmm. You get in the car. Mm -hmm. there's, there's, you, you don't put the light on. You're just sheathed in darkness, shrouded Armored. in darkness. You know, you start the engine. You know, you make sure the window's defrosted a bit. You, you drive off, pull out, you're driving away, and then you think you hear something behind you. In the back seat. It's like the laughter like, of a clown. I didn't look at I didn't look at the back <laughs> of the car when I got in. Honk honk. I didn't check to see if it was free of clowns. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> hey. Hey there. <laughs> Do you want to see a trick? <laughs> oh my gosh. And then he turned her into a flipping real doll. <laughs> that was me turning into a doll. Did you like that? Yeah, it was so convincing. Very visual. It sounded very rubbery when you did it. You made yeah, like that's a very rubbery happens. noise. Yeah. And then, um, obviously, some they and then obviously that turned up in someone's bed. Poor old Butch, Butch, the detective. Butch Reese. Yeah, you know, because that guy had had run-ins with him before. Oh, the clown, yeah. even. It was all, it's all linked. It's all linked. Everything is connected and int intertwined. We need to have like a cinematic universe of peculiar portions. <laughs> well, well, it, it's, the, it's called the Earth. Uh, it already exists. Real life. Yeah. Real, real life. Real, these are real stories that really happened. The biggest extended universe. We're just telling the truth that no one else is willing to tell. The lamestream media is too cowardly to report. No, actually, we're getting these stories from mainstream media aren't we yeah and and uh usually they're pretty far-fetched so um all right love you take it easy thank you time. for watching goodbye slash listening to peculiar portions i'm david the dog goodbye and this is me 
Simon. Thank you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>